For millions of years, humans have looked to the skies and wondered what's out there. While we still haven't found life, we have found some pretty awesome stuff in the black wastes of space. This week, we're at the South African Astronomical Observatory, and we're bringing you a special spacey edition of Tech Report. So here's a bit about where we are. The SAAO was established in 1972. It exists to study astronomy and astrophysics. Astronomy is the study of basically everything that's out there in space. So it could be comets, planets, asteroids, dust, stars, galaxies. And it's also the history of the universe, where it came from, how it evolved, and also maybe predicting where it it might go next. Though this facility is used as a base, the main telescopes used for research are located at the SAAO Observatory Station 15 kilometers from the small Karoo town of Sutherland in the Northern Cape, a four-hour drive from Cape Town. SALT is one of the biggest telescopes in the world, um, and uh, as with so many things, the bigger it is, the better, and that's definitely the case with telescopes. Because of the building of the Southern African Large Telescope, there, be, there are many passaries. There are many passaries for youth uh, wanting to study science, uh, things like applied maths, maths, physics, computer science, astrophysics, and engineering. And also there are postgraduate scholarships for people wanting to study masters and PhDs uh, overseas. Using an astrophysics data system, or ADS, researchers are able to access three bibliographic databases containing more than 10.1 million records. These databases include astronomy and astrophysics, physics and archive e-prints. The virtual astro um, observatory tools is, is a way of um, allowing researchers to access different pools of data um, remotely via the internet from around the world. But it's more for professional astronomers. Um, but if, you, if there are any viewers that want to get involved um, with astronomy and kind of uh, through the internet or virtual tools, um, you can probably check a website called Zooniverse. And they provide a lot of tools um, for what we call citizen science. So it's an opportunity for just normal people who don't have PhDs in physics or whatever to interact with real proper data that's come from space telescopes or big observatories like SALT and make genuine contributions to science. A digital library portal for researchers in astronomy and physics operated by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory under a NASA grant, the ADS provides access and pointers to a wealth of external resources, including electronic articles, data catalogs and archives, with links to over 9.8 million records. A splendid concept is the Virtual Observatory Tools, a service that allows researchers and members of the public to access various tools suited for different projects around the world. And the best thing is, access is web-based. The new curriculum, South African curriculum, has got an element of astronomy. From grade four to grade nine, learners have to learn about Earth and beyond. So we provide training and support for, for teachers. And then in terms of learners, we run a number of workshops. For example, there's stuff on software, on astronomy software. There's programs such as Celestia, where they can do calculations between distances, between planets, between galaxies, and this is a free program. We've got access to robotic telescopes. They can gain access to this telescope uh, remotely, because you just need access to internet, and they can observe the sky, they can conduct many projects, you know, and they do this via our institution. So this brings some form of inspiration and curiosity for young learners because they are not only learning about that, this, this, but they can begin to interact with the stars and with the planets. Just recently, South Africa was back in the limelight when the SAAO was responsible for the discovery of a comet, having last done so in 35 years. C 2015 G2, or the Master Comet, was discovered in the early hours of April the 7th by the Master SAAO telescope. The Sutherland telescope scans the skies without the assistance of a human operator. More than 60 discoveries have been made because of the telescope, including multiple binary stars and gamma ray bursts from exploding stars.
By observing the skies and the stars, we get a better understanding of our role in the vast universe. And it's great to know that should such a major discovery that would change the face of mankind take place, it was done from our backyards.